In this video, we will discuss about uh, how the glycosylation helps this head and neck squamous cell uh, carcinoma in immune escape. We have discussed many times that there is a disruption in the glycosylation that uh, occur within the tumor cell lines. And in some, in some tumor cell lines such as pancreatic cancer cell lines, there is upregulation of the silic acids that has been observed. And whereas in the case of uh, this uh, head and neck squamous cell carcinoma, there is down regulations of the silic acids that has been observed in those uh, tumor cells. So we will discuss uh, uh, this glycosylation and the immune escape in this HNSCC in terms of this uh, PDL1 ligand that expression of the tumor cells. And we have discussed this PDL1 ligand uh, many times in our previous videos when we have discussed about immune checkpoint therapy that how this PDL1 uh, ligand interacts with this PD. Uh, one receptors on the immune cells and uh, provide them and do not eat me signals. So let us, under uh, let us understand uh, this glycosylation changes with, res uh, with respect to this head and neck squamous cell carcinoma. So in this uh, HNSCC uh, tumor cells uh, be because of the upregulation of this E catherine and catherine and we maintain uh, it will lead to the upregulation it will lead to the uh, upregulation of this beta catenin that will cause the upregulations of the enzyme that is STT3 and this will help in the glycosylation of this PDL1 uh, ligand that are then expressed on the tumor cell surface and this glycosylated PDL1 ligand then interact with this PD1 receptors on the uh, T cells and thereby uh, not only uh, helps in the immune suppression but at the same time it will also trigger apoptosis exhaustion energy and IL-10 productions. Uh, from this T cells and thereby uh, reducing the amount of T cells at the same time uh, decrease the immune efficiency against the tumor cells and more specifically the glycosylation that has occurred on the 58 amino acid of this PDL1 ligand interacts with this PD1 to trigger this uh, do not eat me signals at the same time apoptosis within the T cells and how this thing can be uh, reduced this thing can be reduced from the MacroRNA uh, that comes from the family of LET uh, and most uh, in this example it has been shown about in this uh, figure it has been shown about LET 7 A and B macroRNA will lead to the uh, down regulations or inhibition of this TCF4 and this TCF4 uh, down regulations will ultimately affect the beta catenin and TCF4 complex that are formed within the nucleus. And because of the down regulation of this TCF4 will cause down regulation of this whole complex and ultimately leads to down regulation of this STT3 enzymes and thereby the glycosylation of this PD1 ligand will not occur properly and that will cause the deglycosylated PDL1 ligand expressed on the tumor cells. And this deglycosylated PDL1 ligand will not be able to interact with this PD1 receptors that are uh, present on the T cells and thereby the immune suppressions will not occur and the T cells will be able to detect the tumor cells and perform the uh, perform their immune actions against the uh, tumor cells. And there are uh, other problems that people have observed this in this glycosylated PDL1 is that the antibodies that are designed to target uh, this PDL1 ligand, as we have seen this kind of anti PDL1 antibodies to prevent the immune check. Well, these anti PDL1 antibodies that are used in the immune checkpoint therapies they will not work or the efficiency will drastically reduce if this PDL1 ligand is glycosylated. So uh, this kind of glycosylation of this PDL1 ligand is uh, very essential uh, so that the PDL1 ligand that are expressed on the tumor cells can be blocked by the uh, antibodies and thereby the efficiency of the immune cells will further increase to act against the uh, tumor cells. So these are uh, the one things that is different in this HNCC tumor cells compared to the pancreatic tumor cells is that in the case of HNCC tumor cells the reprogramming within the tumor cells occurs in a way that it will lead to the uh, down regulations of this silic acids that are present on this uh, HNCC tumor cells. However, the indolent tumor cells will have uh, more indolent uh, HNCC tumor cells will have more silic acids productions. So these things need to be understood and whereas in the case of pancreatic cancer cell lines where people have observed the high upregulations of the silic acids that are expressed on their uh, tumor cell surface. 
So I hope you got a basic idea about how the glycosylation uh, helps this uh, HNCC, HNSCC, uh, can HNSCC in immune escape. You need to understand more about uh, their glycosylation roles in the immune escape. You can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. So that's all for this video. Thank you for your time.